Words appear. Virtual access to informal STEM learning. Clara, access ISL intern. Formal learning, the practice of learning outside traditional academic settings, has often been restricted to in-person experiences at institutions like museums and community centers. In the last decade, informal learning institutions have greatly expanded their programming to include virtual content. Virtual programming has many benefits, including increasing access for individuals with disabilities. In this video, interns from the NSF-funded Access to Informal STEM Learning, or Access ISL project, explore how virtual programming can be used in informal STEM learning programs and institutions. Clara, Access ISL intern. Due to the current pandemic, virtual programming has become widespread by necessity as many people are working and learning from home. Virtual spaces present great opportunities for engaging with different modes of communication and interaction, which can accommodate people of different access needs. Informal STEM programs would benefit from taking a wide range of needs into account, starting from the very beginning of the program design process. Malakai, Access ISL intern. Virtual spaces avoid some of the infrastructural and societal barriers that hamper traditional programs such as transportation, as people can participate from their own home. Individuals who are experiencing severe immune challenges can also participate with less fear, as contact with others is reduced. Finally, individuals who may not be able to access the program in the limited social confines of traditional hosting spaces can instead participate from comfortable environments with a variety of tools, supports, and regulation strategies available. Dylan, Access ISL intern. When creating virtual programming, it is important to consider how participants will be able to access the program asynchronously. Recording the programming and hosting it on your website or YouTube channel enables more people to engage in the program at their own pace, in their own time zone, or when it is convenient for them. Most virtual meetup programs have a record function, including Zoom, making it easy to upload program content. Rochelle, Access ISL intern. Virtual offerings provide great opportunities for accessibility tools like alternative communication, note-taking, and captions. For example, integrated chat features allows non-speaking participants more equitable access to communication, and applications such as Zoom and Google Meets are increasingly offering automated live captions. Ellie, Access ISL intern. While the recommendations described in this video provide a starting point for building accessible virtual programming, meaningful accessibility is more than the sum of its parts. The Access ISL webpage. ISL practitioners must consider the accessibility of their work at all levels of program design in order to build meaningful experiences. Words appear. To learn more about accessible and inclusive informal STEM learning, visit the Access ISL website at uw.edu slash doit slash programs slash Access ISL. Access ISL is funded by the National Science Foundation, grant number DRL 1906147. Any questions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this material are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the federal government. Copyright 2022. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged.